First off, congratulations. I am more than thrilled for you and more than happy. I hear mo the first question, and I know I was tweeting and telling people you were going to be on the show. They want to know, uh, did you spin in 3.7? Oh, no. As you said, I, first of all, I ha the direct deposit hasn't hit yet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting. But no, no, uh, none of the money has been spent yet. I, no, the no, direct yeah. deposit hasn't well, When it does, will there be a dance or will there just be like, it's cool, we'll just you sit right here? You, you're on your phone and you check your account and you'll be like, dang, I'm broke today. <laughs> but when it hits, I'll be like, <laughs> Everybody. So, yeah. Okay, uh, all kidding aside, uh, we are truly definitely happy for you and it's so good to have you here. It's been quite a year for you. So you missed the US Open last year because you had a stress fracture in your foot. You had a boot on at the beginning of the year. Uh, you were being an analyst for Tennis Channel. Shout out to Tennis Channel where I used to work and you work too. Yeah. Um, and here we are, just a couple of months and you put together uh, a championship run. Uh, talk us through that journey. How, tell me about your lows and your highs. Oh, um, last year at the Olympics, I found out that I had a, 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 a little stress reaction that turned into something bigger. And I, I was in a boot for 15 weeks, and that was just a terrible time. I decided to go down to Australia. I thought everything was good. Got there, and they were like, you absolutely need surgery. So I came home, had the surgery, um, was bored to tears for a couple of months, and I decided, um, great idea to work for Tennis Channel and just to get out there and see my friends and be able to see everyone that I normally would see, try to keep my life a little normal. Um, and I had a great time, it was amazing. And then I started doing my rehab slowly, I started hitting again, and in May, I think it was, I hit my first ball, and I got back on the court, and I was like, okay, this is great. I was just so excited and happy to be able to play again. And then, yeah, I played my first tournament at Wimbledon back, and then my fifth tournament, I won the U.S. Open, and I think everyone, I think everyone's just still in shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I would think, now, when you couldn't play, when you had to, for instance, when you were corresponding and you were being an analyst, if you will, for Tennis Channel at Indian Wells, uh, what were those feelings? Were you upset? Were you envious? Were you jealous? How did you feel about watching everybody else play and move on and watch your ranking slowly drop and drop and drop? Yeah, um, it actually wasn't bad. I was just so excited to be out of the house. Like my situation, I literally was getting rolled around in a wheelchair <laughs> at Indian Wells with this boot on my foot and my peg leg. And I was just like, oh, this is, it's terrible. But at the same time, like I was getting to see my friends, like Maddie was there and I was hanging out with her and then I was able to hang out with Paul and Lindsay and everyone at Tennis Channel. So it wasn't that bad. I wasn't mm -hmm. like dying to play again. It was just more of like, I was happy to be around tennis. And like I got to watch matches and I got to go out and like actually physically sit in the stands and watch like as a spectator. And I was like, this is the greatest thing ever. What did that do for you? I, I, I okay, so interest of full disclosure, people know we've known each other for some time. I think I met you when you were 16. Yes. And you are how old now? 24. You're 20. You're an adult. Oh my I'm God. Adulting. Oh, she is this? adulting. Yes. Uh, that was U.S. Open 2012. You oh made it to goodness. the third round. Mm. Um, and you look now, we all knew it was possible. People would say this about you on the tour. You have the talent. You have it all. Um, how are you able to put it all together? I have noticed more of a maturity off the court. Did that help you on the court? I think so. I'm just older. I think a lot of life has happened and in my time off I just I realize that things are so good off the court, things are so good on the court and when you just have a good attitude and you have fun mm. and you're able to enjoy it, like you can really like have a great life like and just be happy and I think a lot of times you get into a cycle of just kind of oh, it's just you can have a bad attitude and not really realize it yeah. and I think being away from tennis, have it taken away from me and being able to spend time with family and do all the things that I couldn't do before. Like it just really gave me perspective and um, I'm just one of those people that's just like, I'm happy to be here. I'm not gonna cry. I feel one like thug here coming, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep don't it. Don't do it, don't do it. But when Catch you uh, gave the hug to Madison, I know you guys are friends, you call her Maddie, because you're yeah. friends. Um, what did you say to her? Because that was such a class act moment. Oh, okay, I can't tell you. Everyone always asks me what I, what I said to her, but I think for us it was a very personal moment to share that day together, probably the biggest, days, uh, biggest day in both of our lives. Um, it was sad that someone had to lose, I feel like. I told her I wish there could have been a draw because I felt like both of us should have been able to win. It was such a big day and we worked so hard to get there. Her having surgery in the middle of the year, me having surgery at the beginning of the year. Like, if anyone would have said, oh, you guys are gonna play in the finals, I think everyone would have been like, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. So for us, it was, for me, it was the best day of my life, but that's also my friend. And I couldn't just 
leave her hanging. Like, and if anything, in 15 years, and 20 years, like, I hope that Maddie's still my friend. Like, I'm gonna have her at my wedding. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm not getting married, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But, like, she's my really good friend, and I just was happy to share that moment with her. Okay, last question. You're gonna come back and judge our top five, I know that, but our last, my last question is, oh, what's next? Uh, just, just more U.S. Open championships. You know when people, yeah, more away. slams, hope, yeah, more general. slams, more yeah. slams. But um, honestly, you know, people are like, oh, the, I'm day to day, or football. They're like, oh, I'm day to day. I'm literally like second to second right now. So I'm just trying to like take it all in, enjoy the moment, and kind of just process everything that's happened in the last couple of days. Just as glamorous off the court as you on. Here we are, beautiful lady, hanging out with us, Sloane Stevens. She'll be back, folks. You just, I mean, I love you. Thank you. Is it okay? Can I say that? Okay, hugs. Oh, I gotta get up. Hugs.